Hey Profiteers! Today I'm going to reveal a frustrating and expensive problem that lots of dog treat bakers have. Let's kick the time and the money savings into high gear. I know how hard the struggle is when it comes to affording quality dog safe ingredients to make your treats with. So that's why I've put together this quick and easy hack that you can do right now. I also have a review and recommendation of two popular all-natural dog food colorant powders from Amazon. Having a successful dog treat business means making your resources stretch so you can make the best treats, make the most money, and make those tails wag. Everything I mentioned in this video will be linked below. So if you're ready to discover the secret to working smarter, not harder, grab a notebook and a pen and let's dive in. Hey Profiteers, welcome to Positive Profit. Do you want to start a dog treat business with healthy recipes and make money selling them online and in shops? Do you find yourself up late at night wondering how to keep your soft treats fresh and sell them on social media? Do you wake up with big ambitious goals only to feel confused and disappointed when your soft treats mold and you still don't know how to promote on social media again? Hey, I'm Kara. I too wanted to be a dog treat business owner. I also felt discouraged trying to keep my soft treats fresh, and I wished I had more online sales instead of only selling them at markets. I wanted to be home to bake more treats and make money selling them online. But I kept telling myself that I didn't know enough healthy dog treat recipes, have the Instagram know-how, or understand how to properly store my soft dog treats so they'd last longer. Until I learned how to make and sell healthy treats that dogs love and customers want to buy. In this podcast, you'll find natural dog treat recipes, kitchen tips, and all the secrets to selling dog treats online so that you'll make money and have time to bake more treats. Give your dog a treat, grab one for yourself, and let's dig in. Did you know that I have a free community of bakers just like you? It's a place where dog treat inspiration is shared freely with recipes, decorating tips, business ideas, encouragement, and so much more. Come on over and join us at facebook.com slash groups slash start a dog treat business. Hello, dog treat bakers. Welcome back to another episode of Positive Profit. I'm your host, Kara Brothers your guide to turning your passion for pup treats into a thriving business. Today, we're tackling a common well, chunky and clumpy all-natural dog-safe food color powder. You know the stuff in the bag that was powder, then you look and now it's chunks and you can't do anything with it? Let's dive into a quick and effective hack to save your colors and your creations. Have you ever faced the frustration of clumpy colorant powder ruining your creations? Like this? This chunky mess right here? It's so frustrating when our colors harden on us. I always seem to have my dragon fruit powder harden on me, bag after bag. I wasn't sure what was the problem. I decided to switch brands to see if it made a difference, and it did. However, I still had three partial bags left of a previous brand that were filled with these hard pink rocks. What can you do with these? Well, I didn't want to throw them away. This stuff is expensive. I've got your back and I'm going to show you a hack. In this segment, we'll explore the common issue of colorant powder turning hard and chunky, resulting in setbacks in your baking endeavors. Let's unravel the mystery behind this and discover a game-changing solution. So here's the game changer. It's a quick and easy hack to revive all those hardened chunks left in the bottom of the bag. In this step-by-step -step guide, we'll discuss the magic of dissolving the chunks with hot water. No more tossing away expensive powder. Join me as I make these colors vibrant and usable again. So as you know, the secret is hot water. Let me show you what I mean. Put your powdered colored chunks in a bowl and simply add a little bit of hot water and take your spoon and with the back of a spoon, just start pressing the chunks like against the side of the bowl. This is dragon fruit powder and dragon fruit powder has a high sugar content. 
So it would only make sense that hot water would help dissolve the natural sugars, which is exactly what it's doing. I have a feeling that moisture in the bag caused it to clump in the first place. So a little bit is bad, but as you see, <laughs> a lot is making it better. So just keep doing this. And as you see, we're, we're already starting to dissolve the chunks. So just keep at this process until most of the chunks are out. If you can get them all out, that's great. What I like to do just to be sure is after I think I've gotten it to a good consistency, normally I would be mixing this a bit more, but when I've got it to a good consistency, then I will take a sieve. This is like the crucial step is straining the mixture. Okay. This is my sieve. It's a little bit hoopty, but no worries. And then pour this mixture through the sieve and with the back of the spoon, just go in there and smush any chunks that remain through the sieve to make sure you've gotten them all. After you have your nice smooth mixture, all you have to do is add your color into your icing, your frosting, or your dough. Add as little or as much as you want to make that perfect shade of bubblegum pink that dragon fruit powder is known for. Of course, if you're doing this with a different color, that's okay. Just add as little or as much as you like to make the shade that you're going for. So this is how you're going to create this lump-free consistency with this really, really easy technique. And straining it is the way to go just to make sure you get all the lumps out. The entire technique of dissolving the clumps in the hot water and straining it through that fine mesh sieve works for any chunky color powder, any color you have. So say goodbye to clogged pastry tips and messy mishaps. You guys know what I'm talking about. You're either constantly shoving a toothpick into the end of the pastry tip to scoot the chunk out of the way to unclog the tip and keep the icing flowing. Heaven forbid you guys are using a one or a two or a zero round tip and the toothpick won't even go in. And then... That's a, that's a difficult situation. You have to take your icing out. You have to disassemble the tip from the bag, go rinse out the tip, get something smaller than a toothpick. It's just annoying. Either that, or you end up squeezing the bag too hard because you think that chunk is just going to pop out the end and you're going to keep going. And what do you do? You accidentally blow out the seam on the side of the bag and then icing starts pouring out the side. Any way you go, it's no fun. It's a time waster. It is a money waster. And well, my profiteers, your baking process is about to get so much easier. Now in this segment, I'm going to go ahead and compare two popular dragon fruit powders sort of side by side. And I think you already saw one of them. And that is by Suncor. It is their Flamingo Pink Pattaya Dragon Fruit Powder. This is from Amazon. It's a super color powder because it's a super food. And this is their organic red dragon fruit powder. It's a beautiful powder. Honestly, they have really great colors. I have purchased many of their other colors and they all work out well. The other one is by Nature Restore. Okay, I'm going to show you the differences in just a minute. So I got these both on Amazon. And as you saw before, the powder from Suncor... It's chunky. I think I had this bag for like two weeks before I started noticing all of these chunks and these clumps. I mean, they're totally hard, like super hard. Like, what do you do with those? And as I mentioned, this stuff is expensive. The thing about the Nature's Restore that I super, super love is, I can show you, this is like full powder. I've had these bags for the same amount of time. And I'll tell you that the Nature Restore powder is still going strong. Why did I put my hand in that bag? You guys look at my hand. <laughs> I don't know why I did this. Well, this is what's happening. I'm going to have to use just this hand on the broadcast now. Nature Restore is fine. It's silky. It does not clump. Okay. They both had silica packets in there, the desiccant packets to remove moisture. However, the Nature Restore is far and away a better brand, and it's also cheaper. Discovering which brand is something that you're going to have your own experience with, but my recommendation by far, absolutely don't go with the clumps. Stay away from Suncor when it comes to dragon fruit powder 
There are other colors I've not had a problem with. And anyway, this is must know information for every dog treat baker who's trying to save money for sure. So I'm going to wrap it up. Got to wash my dragon fruit hand, y'all. I'm so glad you stayed with me all the way to the end to find out the recommendation and just really finding out why Nature's Restore is a go-to brand to avoid clumpy disasters. Don't let your ingredients sabotage your creativity because when you're in the zone, you're in the zone, everything's flowing. The last thing you need is to deal with these nasty mishaps, having your pastry bag, you know, blow out or your tip clogged or whatever. Say goodbye to the chunky color crisis and hello to a smoother, more enjoyable baking experience. Until next time, happy baking. Hey, baker, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, would you take 30 seconds and share it with a friend who may want to bake dog treats and make money selling them online and in stores? Also, please leave a quick review for the show on Apple Podcasts. It makes me so delighted to know this podcast is helping you. Okay, time to go make another batch of doggy donuts for the sales I got on Instagram. No more markets every single weekend. I'll meet you back here every Tuesday and Thursday for more tasty dog treat content. Until then, don't forget to treat yourself well.